G'day, Corey from AC Plumbing. Uh, just got a quick video for you today explaining the different valves that you should have on your storage hot water unit. Uh, I've got a selection here for you. We'll run through them quickly. Uh, starting with the water isolation valve or duo valve. Uh, this type of valve is for obviously turning your water off in an emergency or for servicing uh, and for uh, and it also prevents backflow um, of the, the heated water into your, your home um, water system. Uh, a lot of guys will um, cut costs and not replace these when you get a new hot water unit. The hot water unit you're replacing is probably about 15 years old, so is the valve, make sure it gets replaced. The next one we've got is pressure limiting valve. This valve isn't always needed, it, it's required when the uh, mains pressure coming into your house is too high for the hot water unit. So we, chuck, we test the water pressure in your house. If it's too high, we put uh, one of those on. Alternatively, you could install one of these guys. This is a pressure reduction valve. Uh, these ones are more suited to go on the front of your property to uh, limit the whole house. Now that's gonna protect not just the hot water unit, but it'll protect all the tapware in the house from um, excess pressure and also expensive things like dishwashers and washing machines. Very good idea. Uh, then we've, we've got this one. So this is the first line of defense to protect the cylinder from turning into a bomb. It releases the built up pressure as the water's heated in your hot water unit and, uh, and just, just prevents it from, from uh, over pressuring. The next one we've got looks very similar, as you can see. Now that's, um, this one's got this extra bit here. So this one goes into your tank it does a slightly higher pressure than the other one as more of a backup. And then it's also got a temperature element to it. So if the thermostat sticks on and the water starts boiling, it'll bleed off some water to, to cool the tank down and protect, protect your house. Both of these two valves uh, need to be just opened and closed gently every six months or so to ensure that they haven't seized up. Now the next one, this one's an, another safety device. This one's to prevent scalding in your home. Uh, it mixes the hot water in, in your tank, which is heated high enough to kill bacteria. Cools it down, uh, mixes a bit of cold water in it before it goes to fixtures like hand basins, showers and baths that you, that you actually wash yourself under. And that, pre that prevents uh, people from getting scalded. Those ones, uh, are recommended to be serviced every 12 months and uh, should be replaced every five years. The next one, if you've got an electric storage hot water unit, you won't have this one, but if it's gas, this is the gas control valve. And um, in an emergency if, or for servicing, if the gas needs to be turned off to the hot water unit, turn them off. Uh, that's a brief explanation of uh, the valves on your hot water unit. If you do need a new hot water unit this year, make sure that the, uh, the plumber's replacing all of those. You don't want to have a 15 or 20 year old valve on your, your uh, new hot water unit and uh, you want things to work as they should and, and have a safe, safe use of your home. Thank you very much. I've been Corey from AC Plumbing and I'll continue to be that guy when the camera goes off. But uh, you have a great day. See you next time.